Thanks for clicking on this video. Today is going to be a nail vlog, a lot of talking, but my main point of this video is to kind of share how I grow out my natural nails. I naturally have like thinner, weaker nails. I have my whole life, they were never super strong, therefore I was not able to grow them out. And then recently, sometime last year, when I had a gel allergy, I peeled off, horrible thing to do, peeled off my nails and it really damaged my nails and then I tried some press-ons that didn't go so well either so I'm basically trying to grow out really weak damaged nails and this is kind of the only thing for me that works and these are gel products but surprisingly enough I don't know if it's the brand like I don't have a reaction from that this is what I'm working with I've had these on for about three weeks so there's quite a bit of growth going on and then one of them fell off it was lifting a little bit on the edge already and then yesterday I hit it and it ended up lifting off and it did kind of take off some of my natural nail but my nail was already damaged so let me show you guys I mean they are so weak and thin but this is how much it grew out so my new nail is growing out nice and healthy this is the new nail growth and then this is the damaged part so I'll do two things in today's video I'm going to do a fill on all of these but on this one right here, obviously I have to start from scratch. So I'll show you guys how I would do my nails if I were starting from scratch and also if I were doing the fill. So kind of like the best of both worlds in today's video. So first step is kind of removing majority of this builder gel right here. So to do that, I have my nail file, my e-drill right here. This one's from Melody Susie. It's super inexpensive on Amazon and it works for me. I also have some drill bits that I purchased separately, specifically from Melody Susie. So I have this one which is a typical drill bit, the one like the sanding bit. I just prefer it compared to the typical sanding bits. I'm not sure what the technical terms are, but basically to remove this gel product right here, since it's pretty stiff, tick tac tap, I'm gonna be using these drill bits right here. So these are a lot more coarse. You can buy different kinds, but these are just the ones that I'm gonna use for reference. So I think I'm gonna use this one right here. It's not as coarse as this one. Just be careful not to get it on your skin and not to press too hard and just kind of like take off layer by layer. I do need to get one of those fans. I'm just gonna try to contain it as much as possible. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm filing off the first couple of layers of that builder gel, the top coat and a few layers of builder gel. I'm not gonna file all the way down to my natural nail since my natural nails are really short and I don't wanna have to redo the whole extension. So, so long as there's not too much lifting or anything bad going on, I'm just gonna file off a few layers of the builder gel and any lifting that is happening around the edges before I do a fill. And I'm going to do this for all the nails. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. This is what I filed down so far. So pretty close to my natural nail, but there's still a little bit of builder gel on there to hold the structure and the length and the shape and all of that. What I'm going to do now is grab a hand file and very gently kind of smooth out any ridges and roughness when you are using this drill bit right here i forgot to mention don't go over your natural nail it's way too rough for the natural nail um, but very gently with a hand file i'm going to kind of smooth out between my natural nail any lumps and just kind of like blend everything together and smooth it out now that everything is kind of smooth out sorry the sun is making it super extra bright I'm gonna grab my lint-free wipes and my isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna spray down each nail and wipe it down to get rid of any excess dust before I move on to doing a fill and an extension on this nail here. So doing a fill is fairly quick. It's the nail extension that takes a lot longer when you're doing it from scratch. The gel products I'm gonna be using are all from the brand In Hype. It's this brand on Amazon, and I don't know, it's just worked well for me. No allergic reactions, nothing like that. I feel like they are just, so far, really good products. So here I have three different colors for their rubber base. This is what I use as a base coat. This actually works really great if you just want to strengthen your natural nail. Like if you like the length, but you just want a little bit of strength. This is better than a typical base coat because when it cures, it has a little bit of strength to it. So love this. And then I also have some of their structure gel. So this is kind of like builder in a bottle essentially. So this is what I'm gonna use as my builder gel. I have this purpley lilac and then like this pewter blue. I also have their rubber top. Rubber products are essentially more flexible 
they say than like your typical gel products so if you're working with your hands a lot and you don't want your nail to break crack on you um, kind of has a little bit of flexibility oh, I also have these right here this is a nail forms that I use to create a nail extension and then I have this nail lamp which I'm going to use to flash cure and then my big nail lamp here which I'm going to use to fully cure once I'm all done so let me start off with the extension and the way you use them is you tear along the dotted line here and then fold down the middle so you're going to fold these corners together to create a point right down the middle so bend it at the middle so you're kind of creating a little triangular shape and you want to apply it so that your natural nail is sitting on top of the nail form because you're going to be using gel products to create an extension from your natural nail over the free edge onto the nail form that's the whole point of these forms is to create an extension so you want to make sure your natural nail is fitting sitting snugly on top of the form and then kind of like pinch the bottom the sides to make sure it is secure and kind of like if your nails are flatter just make sure there's no gapping at the sides or anything like that it definitely helps to have some sort of length to your natural nail otherwise it's very difficult but this is essentially what it's gonna look like you don't want to also arch too high or too low just very snugly and securely against your natural nail first thing that I'm gonna do is go in with my young nails protein bond this is not acid adhesion it's like an extra step helps with longevity and lifting and all of that I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus and this is an air dry formula so you don't need to cure it just apply it to the natural nail make sure you don't get it on the skin and let it air dry now I'm gonna go in with my rubber base so this serves as a base coat and this I'm I personally the way that I like to use this is I actually extend this over the free edge so I don't use it on only my natural nail I also use it as an extension just when you're applying this make sure you never get any gel products on your skin on the sides just be very very careful with that it's very very important because I did not listen to this when I was just starting out doing my nails so I got a lot of gel products on my skin which I removed later but at that point I feel like I developed a gel allergy to some brands so just be very careful so I'll do a light layer across my natural nail and then kind of bring it over the free edge a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect because you will shape and file it down later one thing that I would say is very important is here on the edge here you don't want there to be a gap in between your natural nail and the free edge you want to make sure that that is nicely filled in as well otherwise this is where the nail can break I've experienced breakage here a lot so you want to make sure that you are supporting this fairly well once it's all good to go you can go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds it's also helpful to have your phone maybe turn on like a sermon a movie or something a show whatever you want to watch because this can take quite a bit of time I'm not gonna lie doing your own nails at home it's all fun and dandy and you save a lot of money but it is a little bit time consuming once it's fully cured you can go ahead and take off the nail form I'm actually gonna wait until I have builder gel on here because the base coat is still very very thin so I can end up breaking everything that I just created so I think today I'm gonna use this lilac -y pink one I don't know I tried this one before and I wasn't crazy about the color so I think I'm just gonna go in with this so on top of the base gel this is when you can start building a structured nail like using builder gel products mine is a builder in a bottle type so what I do is I create a very thin layer once again kind of like the base coat wait I have way too much product on here I already have an extension made with the base coat so I don't have to worry about that too much I also forgot to mention do not wipe off the sticky layer off the base coat you're gonna need it to build on top of so the builder in a bottle needs to adhere to that base coat so do not wipe down the sticky layer once I have a thin layer of base coat I'm gonna go in with basically a dollop do like a rainbow back and forth to basically create an apex and add some height and strength to the nail the nice thing with this one is that it kind of self levels and then if you flip it upside down it will continue to self level but once you're happy with the apex you can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and fully cure it because I don't need to work on the other nails but when I am working on the other nails creating extensions I flash cure it so that the gel product doesn't run everywhere as I kind of work on building a tip for every single nail. All right, fully cured. Now you can go ahead and remove the nail form. 
there is some unevenness on the side here don't worry because it will get filed down but what I'm gonna do now is grab my isopropyl alcohol spritz it on the nail a little bit and wipe it down to get rid of that sticky layer and then from here you are ready to file it down shape it scuff off the surface add your rubber top and you're all done but because I have to do these nails here I'm gonna work on those first before I go in with that process so with a fill what I do is I'll grab my rubber base and I kind of repeat the exact same steps but I no longer have to do a nail extension since I already have a nail extension I'll do a very light coat of rubber base all across the natural nail making sure not to get it on the skin or flood the sides this is very very important I'm actually going to apply rubber base to all of the nails since I can do these all at the same time. Once the rubber base is cured, that's when I'm going to go in with my builder gel. I start off by covering the entire nail with a very light layer and then building the apex. The reason for this is because that way then the builder gel has something to adhere to and stick to. This process usually goes a lot faster. and then flip it a few seconds upside down to level it before I go ahead and fully cure it. I'm not going to do the thumb. I'm going to do the thumb last just because of how it's angled. Kind of run down how I apply it once again. I'll do a thin layer. You can actually also apply it in two layers. So you can do one layer, cure it, and then add another layer to add more structure and build up the apex and fully cure that. Especially if you are experiencing heat spikes. This is actually what I used to do. But right now I have some builder gel underneath so my apex doesn't need to be that dramatic I guess you can say. So there's not that much builder gel I'm using. So I'll have a light layer and then I'll grab a bunch on my brush here. My kids are playing and then kind of go in U shape motions from side to side kind of like a rainbow to add some more builder gel. Before I go in with some more grab a bead and kind of run it down the middle to really build up that apex and let that settle in since this does kind of self level I just realized the whole thing is probably blurry I'm so sorry <laughs> and then you can flip it upside down for a few seconds to also have a self level and then fully cure that now I'm gonna go in with my little spray bottle spritz the nails and kind of get rid of that sticky layer before I go in to file down and shape them there is a difference in color between this nail and these because this one had that pink rubber base underneath whereas the rest of them had this purple lilac-y one so then when I went in with this it was this one's just more purple because the base is more purple as it is I just realized that which you know whatever it is what it is at this point it's just one nail it's not a big deal once you get rid of that sticky layer then you can go in and shape them and then very gently kind of smooth out the top so if you have any lumps or anything like that or just in general you want to get rid of that smooth layer scuff it up a little bit before you go in with your top coat so that's what I'm gonna do right now this is probably the least enjoyable part for me not gonna lie just because I feel like it kind of takes up the most time but it is very necessary I personally use a hand file because I feel like I have more control over it but I guess if you wanted to you could use the e-drill and just be careful over the cuticles the nails are all finally filed down and shaped smoothed out and this is what that looks like and now for the last and final step is the top coat so I have my rubber top coat here I'm gonna apply a layer making sure not to get it on the cuticle flood it on the sides and making sure that you also wrap it around the tip I also forgot to say that I wiped down the nails to free them from dust before you apply the top coat you definitely want to make sure you get rid of all the dust and everything from filing before you go in with your top coat it is very very important and once that's fully cured you are all done so here is the before this is what I started with this is the after a nice fresh manicure and this should last you honestly it could last you a month if not more I just mine grow out this is like three weeks of outgrowth so I was like okay I have to I gotta do something about it I'm gonna finish this hand off camera I have to like make the kids beds and everything they're awake now I tried to start while they were sleeping but like I said, this is a time-consuming process, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then finish this off camera. But this is essentially the end result and how I am able to grow out my nails, especially if they're damaged. This is literally the best method for me personally. I 
tried Gelex and I like Gelex because it's fast. The only thing with Gelex is I get lifting on the sides, even subtle lifting, then I end up picking at it. And I don't know, this for me is like the most secure because it fully wraps around your nail and it just lasts longest. It's rigid, it's structured, it's just a little bit time consuming. And everything that I get is off of Amazon, so I'll link what I use down below. But I hope this video was helpful. If you are like me and you're trying to grow out your natural nails and you love doing your nails at home, thanks for watching and hanging out and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.